The KG Lifestyle. Hey, love. So excited to share this trip with you. This is from May, late May. So I know it's late, but I definitely wanted to share all of the footage that I took when I was in London. I went there for BeautyCon London as well as the I Define Me Tour Women's Empowerment Brunch. So super exciting stuff. When I landed at the airport, I went ahead and waited for Rachel. Public transportation live in London. We took public transportation back to um, the apartment that we rented. The trains are really cool there. They don't have like those brakes and with the doors that the New York, DC, or um, you know Chicago trains do. They're just one continuous train, and it kind of snakes through the city or underground. Once we got ourselves together that morning, we went ahead and went out to shop, which is one of my favorite things to do. So we're in um, Oxford Circus, and it's amazing. It's just like New York. I didn't expect this. I'm just gonna be honest. But Top Shop is down there, and Miss Suffrages is down there. There's an H&M over here, but we're gonna go to Primark. This is Selfridges, <laughs> the world's first apartment store. Yes! And it's very similar to Macy's and it has like, all the window displays. I'm, I'm walking on some historic floors. The first one! If I had my selfie stick, this would be so much easier, but I'm just trying to show you guys a lot going on. It's beautiful. All the buildings are old and not old though. Like when you go inside, it's not as old. <laughs> Julesy would call them F boys. Yeah, they all are. Yeah. Yeah, so this is where we're going next. Booyah! Can you see that? Can you see that? Ha, 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 ha. I love this top and pants. So cute. They're giving me these prints, guys. Giving me the prints. And these green. So cute. 18 pounds. I might have to try that on. Then we got dinner and came back home. Did you get caught in Yes, I did. Yeah. Can you tell that I'm not using my hands? Okay, I'm using one of them, but I'm using a selfie stick! I'm on a selfie stick! I love it! Rachel's laughing at me. This is the perfect <laughs> vlogging tool. Like, oh my god, now I can show you guys everything. Like, there's the stove. <laughs> And there's the window. And there's all the stuff for Ida Find Me Tour. Oh, snap! Look at that! <laughs> this is so great! I'm so glad I got this. I do not regret this at all. Now, how do I stop it? The next day was BeautyCon. I was super excited to meet one particular person. And if you followed me for a while, you know exactly who that is. The creator's lounge or the talent lounge was really cool. 
It was sponsored by Nick, so they gave out Nick's goodie bags, and there was like a little touch-up station that you could use Nick's makeup to kind of touch up your makeup while you were kind of resting in between panels and stuff like that. <laughs> So if I look a little disheveled, it's because this is immediately after I met Shirley and I was a little frazzled. <laughs> I couldn't really form words, but um, yeah, we were able to chat and I'm so happy that I was able to see her. I stopped by the platform little area, which was cool because they had these little videos that featured a bunch of us. I saw myself and Charge and caught that on tape and I was able to host a little karaoke hour which I am not going to show you because it's very very embarrassing. This goodie bag was boss let me tell you it has like two of everything in it basically so that you can give one away or um, just have two for your collection. <laughs> This is the selfie stick struggle because it's so far out, it's hard to catch the audio, but Rachel's explaining that she really wanted an eyeshadow palette and was going to go buy one, but she ended up getting two or actually several that were in the BeautyCon London uh, deluxe gift bag, so. Do you always keep your little thing in your purse? I'm formerly known as Queen Keshna, but I'm sure you add the link somewhere, right? Yes. Train life in London. <laughs> <laughs> We had originally planned to go back home, drop our things, change perhaps, and go out for dinner, but time did, did not allow us to do that, so we went ahead and went to dinner. I just left the train station. I hope all the stuff that I just taped is on here. Because it was cute. She was saying this word the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, honey, yeah. It's gonna work, yeah. Did you hear the guy say when I said about you said about his eyebrows something and he was like yes oh in the VIP booth yeah there was a guy who was saying that the whole time but he was like where's the alcohol yes he was asking for alcohol I think he was a little bit uh, he wanted to turn up yeah Lester Square we walked through Leicester Square to get to the spot we were going to have dinner at and we passed by Hagen dazs which had a ridiculously long line and I just had to put a pin in it because I love Hagen dazs ice cream and knew that I had to make it there at least once while I was in London. Yeah, now we're going to dinner. Where are we going? Basuba. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is literally time for you. 
and met with some of Rachel's friends and some of the attendees that were going to come to I Define Me tour the next day, including our host, Shauna C. Afterwards, we had dessert at haagen which gave me all of my life. <laughs> Stay tuned because I captured a lot of the I Define Me Tour Women's Empowerment Brunch. So I hope that you look out for that coming up next.